Hey guys, Richard here at the range. Today we have a tale of two guns. The Smith & Wesson Shield versus the Glock 43X. And I guess the Glock 43X is the newcomer to the show, but um, both of these are, we sell, sell a lot of these as concealed carry handguns. So we went out and shot them head to head today just to see what we thought. And my thoughts um, on the two guns, the Shield has been around for a long time, proven system, very affordable, works very small, especially with the non-extended magazine. But that's the first thing I don't like about the Shield is this short grip uh, with my big paws makes it hard for me to get a, my preferred shooting grip. So we're making compromises with the concealed carry handgun, I realize. But the pinky doesn't have anything to rest on, and so you have to modify your grip. I carry currently a, a shield, not a shield, I'm sorry, an MP9 compact, and but I carry it with a full size MP9 magazine, so I cheat, but I don't like that short grip. I do like the controls. This shield, particular shield, happens to have a safety, which the Glock does not. Uh, I don't think you need necessarily safety for a concealed carry handgun. The gun is very smooth, uh, the rounded corners are nice, it fits the hand otherwise very well, but it's also kind of a slick gun, and that plays into it when you're talking about a small gun, how controllable is the firearm. The magazine release works very easily, I think you can switch this one around so left-handed people can use this, but the, uh, the slide release is not on my side of the gun, so I'm relegated to operating this with my index finger. Or just, I just tend to power stroke guns because I am a left-handed shooter. The Glock 43X kind of solved some of those issues that I don't like about the shield. So the grip is not comprised of any part of the magazine. So the grip is a full grip. I can get my whole hand on the grip. I like that. I like this textured finish on the grip. It helps you hold on to the gun because it is a smaller gun. Seven round magazine, 10 round magazine. Well, I'm probably gonna opt for the 10 round magazine. So I like the extra capacity in the gun. Again, no slide release on my side of the gun. It doesn't make a difference really because I power stroke every time when I'm executing a reload. I do like the fact that this slide is a little beefier. The, the grooves here on the slide are a little deeper and it just feels like you have more purchase when you're operating the slide than you do with the shield. Yes, the gun is a little bit bigger, but I think that trade-off in size makes up for it in shooting because I shot this gun better than I shot that gun. We shot both guns. I, I used two different sight pictures. One using the, the standard sight picture with the sights three dots versus the dot and the U. And that's one complaint I have about Glock. I've never liked their factory standard sights. So if they'd just gone with three dots, I'd have been happier. So I thought I would shoot the shield better, but I didn't. I tend to print high right with that little gun. Shot a tighter group using the tops of the sights with both guns, I think, um, which is maybe that's because it's my preferred way to shoot when I'm shooting for accuracy. And then we shot both guns at 15 yards, and I was more accurate with the 43X than I was with the shield. I actually had two shots in the white, high right, with the shield and no shots out of the circle with the 43X. So my personal preference for those reasons would be the Glock 43X. Not saying the shield is not a, the right choice for somebody else. Uh, just saying for me, this fits my hand and I tend to shoot this better than I do the smaller gun and the slicker gun. And I just like the way the gun feels in my hand. So I hope that helps you. If you're looking for a concealed carry pistol, we look forward to seeing you at the store. Have a good one.